Fred and I, that's Fred. Fred's a snake. <clears throat> Been on a journey for a few years. And we've done a lot of old man stories. Fred usually sat back at the office and I went out with the adventures, but I would tell Fred when we got back all about my stories. And I said, Terry, let's go out and do some camera work. And she's standing behind there making faces at me. And I'm just enjoying the heck out of this. I love to talk and I love to tell old men stories. And there's not a more appropriate place than where my granddaughter turned five. We had a big party for her right here. So I thought about where I got the idea of old men's stories. And the word actually came when I was sitting up on a rise on the River Nile in the city of Juba, Sudan. Now Sudan just voted to be the newest country in the world. And I was there a few years ago doing the software and putting it in for the city of Juba. And we, would, we were in compounds because it was still a war zone. But there was a bunch of engineers and a good, good friend by the name of Sam West and I. And in the evening, we'd go up and we'd sit in tables overlooking the Nile. And I remember Sam, he'd start off with a story. Sam's from Houston and he really tells a good story. But I wasn't to be beat. An old Minnesotan like me has some good stories. So I'd tell a story also. Then Sam would tell a story. Then I'd tell a story. After about five or six stories, one of the young engineers, they would come in with a story. And I got, it's just fun telling stories. And I remember when I was young, we'd tell stories around a campfire. And that was just gorgeous. Storytelling has been an absolute wonder all through the years. So I set up a wa website called www.oldmenstories.com. One word. And you can join me there. And we will just start a whole website of old men stories. And we'll have fun with it because one thing I enjoy creating websites. And it's one of my old men stories is when I created websites. And I think old men's story is in my genes. Because I was reading about one of my relatives, Daniel Boone. And when he was old, instead of cashing in on his reputation, he'd sit in a rocking chair in a house. And he'd sit with his Indian friends and they would tell old men stories. Indians love old men stories. Now, I know because I have a whole bunch of Indian tribes that I wrote the software for that are still using my software. And when I go visit, I always go visit the shaman of the tribe. And we sit and tell old men stories because all of their lessons to the members are through stories. The world and how we know it has been passed on from generation to generation by stories. And 
I'll continue doing it. Now, one of the things I notice about old men is it's very, very relative. A fella in one of the Toastmasters group, which I pride myself on being a member, said to me, he said, Roland, I remember when I was in first grade, an old man came to our class and he told us a story and he, we love the story. He says that when I was in fifth grade, I went back and I told the story and I was the wonderful old man in the story. Old men are always just a little older than you. For a 15 year old, anyone 20 and above is an old man. Now, let me be very specific about man or men. When I refer to it as generic, it means human. Old men love being old men because we can tell stories. All women seem to have a problem with that. So we carry their stories sometimes for them. And then they tell their own stories. But it's more fun with the label old men stories. Now, I have an opportunity right now. Well, I'm very, very healthy and just a youngster of 70 to start my website and bring in you to have fun and to create a wonderful, wonderful environment for us to tell old men stories. And I have all these visions of it tying into Good Sam or the AARP and people meeting and telling old men stories because old men stories will be brought back and told to the youngsters because I notice I have all this information and I make assumptions that other people know it. And remember, we have to start teaching again and again and again because every day there's a young person that needs an old man's story. And I want to give you an absolutely wonderful thanks. Thank you and Fred thanks you that you listen to this old man's story.